Well, when you're not doing your 90 jobs, Terry Crews, um, and you do have a minute to watch a football game, how do you watch it? Do you, do you still watch it with, like, a football mind from your, you know, your years of playing it? First of all, I, I don't have that kind of time. What I, I'm a sports center guy. I okay. literally – what I realize is that you can watch all the games yes. by watching Sports Center, all of it, and you don't miss a thing. You literally did not miss one thing at all. If it was worth watching, it was shown. You so, know what I mean? <laughs> so you don't just settle – you just don't settle in. I'm like, okay, I'm going to take three hours. I'm going to watch this football game. You just oh, don't do that. Oh, three hours. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> too much to do. I, I literally have too much to do. I, I'm like, I can't – three hours. I could even take a nap. <laughs> Uh, one of those hours, and then it's time to get back to work, man. It's, you know, it's kind of like for right now, I have to strike while the iron's hot. Yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? Well, you're killing it. You realize, man, these are opportunities that may not come back again, especially now. After after the whole world shut down, I'm taking advantage of everything. So uh, do you ever dream that you're playing football again? Do you ever have any one of those, Terry? Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I definitely have football dreams, man. I, you know, I stay in shape. I yeah. I literally am right now. I'm, I'm in probably the best shape of my life. I'm 235, but I'm not in hitting shape. Like people forget, the NFL, you, you know, it's fine as an athlete, but once you take any of those hits, it's like being in a car accident every quarter, and it takes its toll. And I had to really, I had to spend years healing up after that. So no kidding. I like to dream about football, but not doing it. So are you scoring in your dreams? Are you scoring or you're taking somebody? No, I'm hitting. I, I never was on the off. I would never consider myself on the offense side. That, that's, that's so you never no. had a, you, in your three years, you never had a scoop and score for the Rams and never, the Chargers? Never, never. I, I was always hitting folks. That was the, my big highlight was I got knocked out on Monday Night Football. I, <laughs> you, can, you can Google it. Google Terry Crews knocked out on Monday Night Football. It's right there. Is that really? I was on the Chargers. And we were playing Indianapolis Colts. Who put you to sleep? Who did that? Do you remember? Well, I, I hit Clarence Burden, who was the smallest <laughs> man in the NFL at the time. I hit him. I don't mean and, to laugh. And I knocked myself out. <laughs> so you hit uh, Clarence Burden. I remember that. I haven't heard that name in forever. So yeah. there you are with the Chargers. And then, so was that, did you, were you on the team that made the Super Bowl or were you, is that the no, team? No, let me tell you the heartbreak that is the NFL is that I was on the team right before that, came back to camp, went all the way down the, the wire and got cut before in 1994. And they kept calling me all year saying that they were going to bring me back and never did. And they went all the way to the Super Bowl. This that is was hard. Bobby Ross was the coach? Was that the guy? Bobby who- Ross. Exactly. My coach, Dale Lindsay, was the linebacker coach, and Bobby Ross was the coach. And they kept saying, yeah, we're going to bring you back. Bobby Beathard, that was Bobby Beathard's team back sure. then. And, uh, yeah. and I just was, man, and I stayed in town and waited and waited, and it never happened. You I know, mean, the heartbreak. Of, uh, first of all, all the heartbreak I went through in the NFL got me ready for Hollywood, for real. Yeah, because you get to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you have to face rejection. I mean, Hollywood is rejection. I mean, if you can stand the rejection, you're right. going to make it because mm. all know. It's just all kind of audition, audition. You never hear anything. And no one will ever tell you that it, you, you're, you're not going to make it. Like, they all say, oh, it's going to be great, and then they never call you. So it gets you super ready for rejection. You just learn to just keep going. And I did that. I played seven years in the NFL on six different teams. I mean, all over the place. Right. And it was just because I didn't quit, and I realized, you know what, I can keep doing this, but in Hollywood, why not? Do you have a Same good life? Do you have a good Junior Seau story, Terry? Anything wow! About- First of all, oh man, you know, a Junior was a warrior. At I mean, at his heart, man. I the big, big Junior Junior Seau story I have mm-hmm. is I remember we had a specific play that was drawn up, uh, you know. It, it, he was supposed to drop back in coverage, and it was like cover two or whatever. And he just decided he was just going to rush. <laughs> he just decided, no, I'm going to blitz. And everybody was like, oh, I, mean, I, was, I remember watching, like, what is he doing? And he literally got the quarterback. You know, he got a sack. And every time he, he made those moves like that all the time, but it would always work for him. He had a, you know, he had a, true spidey sense when it came to the, the you know the NFL field 
it was like Spidey sense. He decided he was just going to go, and it always worked. When I tried that, it was like, what the hell are you doing, Terry Crews? <laughs> you know, I got chewed out. I was like, I'm going to sure. rest. And they're like, what the hell? Right. Right. I'm sure. Fun. I think I might have told you this, and if that's the case, then I'm sorry. But because, uh, you know, all that time we did spend over the summer just waiting around to to shoot. But um, I remember I, my my first time I ever saw Junior say out, Terry, was the Rose Bowl USC versus Michigan. It was the last game in Bo Schembechler's coaching career. I covered it. It was the last thing I ever did as a member of the student newspaper at Michigan. And I remember at one point looking down at the flip chart, the flip card with the names and numbers to see if there were two number 55s on the field. If there were like, oh. if there just happened to be another 55. Because, you know, there's like 100 kids on a college roster. Sometimes they, they wear the same number. Nope. Oh, I, mean, yeah. I, I kept looking down. I'm like, how the hell did he get there? Because he was there before the snap. How the hell did he get there? It was one yeah. of the greatest performances I've ever seen in my entire life. Ever, ever. I mean, he was like that. Like I said, he was—he knew what was happening before right. it happened. It was crazy. And we, we all, I mean, full deep as we, I remember us all sitting there like, hey, man, what can we say? I mean, do what you want to do, bro. <laughs> right. It was that kind of thing, you know? Right, I know. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.